January 16, 2018, I'm Lai, an intern at Topayo Vets. Ten days ago, this 1.29 kg, four-year-old female poodle was stepped on and dislocated her hip. A close reduction, which is putting the femoral hip back into its socket, was done at Vet 1. However, the bone dislocated again, so this poodle was brought to Topayo Vets for surgery to resolve the problem. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. Femoral Head Osteotomy The femoral head is the highest part of the thigh bone. An osteotomy is an operation where a bone is cut to repair a damaged joint. Day 1 Diagnosis Let us first take a look at this poodle's bones. This x-ray shows the poodle's hip before closed reduction. January 6, 2018 Poodle stepped upon by a person. Cranial dorsal coxal femoral luxation. Left hip. To treat this, a close reduction was performed at another vet. What does a close reduction look like? The doctor pushes the femoral head back into the acetabulum under sedation. No surgery is done. A click sound is heard after successful reduction. After this, an imus sling is applied to the rear limb. An imus sling prevents weight bearing of the pelvic limb. The dog has to be confined to a cage with controlled activity on a leash until the bandage is removed in 7 to 10 days. After bandage removal, activity is limited to controlled leash walking for an additional 2 weeks. Day 11, Femoral Head Osteotomy As the close reduction did not succeed, a femoral head osteotomy is done. Firstly, the muscles are parted by blunt dissection. This means that an instrument without a cutting edge or the fingers is used to separate tissue layers. The femoral head will be exposed more and more as the assistant abducts the joint. The femoral head bone is then cut off using a bone cutter. A false joint is created and the skin stitched back up. Here, post-surgery, we can see the bone cutter and the removed left femoral head of the poodle. Day 2 after surgery, the poodle is still unable to bear weight on her leg, but the outcome expected is that she will eventually be able to do so. This can be predicted by referring to a similar case in 2017, where a 12-year-old Maltese underwent femoral head osteotomy. Some weeks after surgery, the Maltese is able to walk and run almost normally. Do note that there are three surgical options to solve the problem of this dislocated bone. Femoral head osteotomy, hip replacement, and ligament reconstruction. Femoral head osteotomy is the cheapest, which is why it was the preferred option in this case. For more of such educational videos, do go to topayovets.com slash videos.htm. Thank you for watching.